Hi, I'm Jane Esselstyn. I'm Ann Esselstyn. And today we're cooking out of Plant Strong. There you go, Chop Shop. Such a good book. Well, it was it was one of the it was my first oh. one I did with Rip. Um, and what I loved is that it showed me something that is known to, to many of you probably, but how fast and easy it is to make your own red sauce, your own marinara. Um, and so this and, is and this is the thing. It is impossible. At least I spent hours in all in the grocery stores trying to find a pasta sauce with no oil and and low sodium, yeah. and it's impossible. They don't nearly they, impossible. They don't, who makes them? Any anyway, it's hard to find. Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, but they're higher. They're high in sodium, and all these makes one, but it's high in very high in sodium. So we're wearing our red shirts because this splatters sometimes. <laughs> And oh, and also there's are there are plants only red shirts hoodies anyway, um, which are so cozy. So we're gonna start with this hoodies. fast and fresh marinara. <laughs> um, it's on page two twenty seven if you're following along, and it starts with a um, twenty eight ounce can of crushed tomatoes and a twenty out twenty eight ounce can of petite diced tomatoes. I couldn't find either of those where I shopped before we did our show so today. So what if you just used all of one? So I got matter? strained tomatoes and finely diced. So strained are hopefully are near crushed and um, finely chopped are hopefully close to petite diced. Maybe I'm being, I'm being fighting semantics, but that's what we're gonna start with. And basically we're gonna put all these, all this tomato stuff in our pan on a medium high heat and we're gonna add the spices to it. We're gonna add oregano, uh, some red pepper flakes, uh, onion powder, garlic powder, and some thyme and some fresh basil, and then we just stir it up. So we're going to actually invite a wait over there in a second when we get this all. Geez, that's plenty. That's just. <laughs> so we're going to pour this in. I had the job of opening. Wow! Ooh. That was a hot start. It was a medium high for longer than I, I had realized. the hardest job. This is why I have a red shirt on. Woo! Okay. Well, actually, Brian used to do it um, under some maple syrup in it eventually. Brian used to do a sauce. Uh, where he would burn the, uh, not burn, but really, really heat up the red sauce before it went in. Did you get all, all out of there, Mom? Okay. Close. Mm, I got some splatter. All right, so this is going to cook along, and we're going to add to it um, everything we need to. We're going to add three tablespoons of basil, sorry, of chopped basil, or one tablespoon of, of dried. So we're going to use... We're going to use our fresh basil here. Ann, can you chop that up? Do some chop, chop, chop. Oh, I hear it spackling behind me. Mmm. There you go. I'm turning you down a little bit. Look at that. It's already, it's just going to cook itself down. I'm going to put in the um, three tablespoons of oregano. Again, if you don't love oregano or don't want it to go that route, don't bother. We're going to put three tablespoons in. Use it because it makes a difference. Oh, it does. It's got such, I mean, gosh, I smell oregano and I get hungry. It must have some, like, a receptor in the brain that makes you hungry. That and the smell of vanilla. Shall I put in the... the yes, yes. Put the, put the basil, fresh basil in, oregano in. All right, so we're going to add in two teaspoons of thyme. Gosh, just look at this already. It's so beautiful. And you know, add more or less depending on your your um, your preference. And then here, mommy, you want to help? We're going to put in a teaspoon of onion powder and a teaspoon of garlic powder, and some crushed red pepper. It's just to your preference. And I'm going to put in. And here's the garlic powder. This is like a little moving circus because all of our spices were up front. And I'm going to start to stir it up so that. Onion powder. This is a little lumpy. Oh, <laughs> you know, look at that. This is the summer. Oh, all right, yes, we don't have air conditioning or anything, so our the humidity sneaks into some of our spices and turns them solid. Is how's our garlic powder? The same. It's funny. I have to get my knife in there and scratch, 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 scratch sometimes to get it. Oh, this is, looks a little more agreeable. There you go. That's a roughly a teaspoon. All right. And the thing about um. Working with tomato like this, tomato paste or tomato sauce, is that it's a kind of acidic, and so you have to kind of break up the acidity with something sweet. So many, um, many pasta sauces, marinaras have sugar added, 
and we try to add as little sweetener as possible. So we add maple syrup, of course, which is our, it's our jam. And here I have, it's your choice. Oh, more fresh basil. Can't have enough fresh basil. So we're gonna add, whoop, one overflowing, and then just two total. I don't always add that, or I'll sometimes, it, yeah, it's, it can be a little just, acidic up, if you up don't. To your, up to your taste. Yeah. This sauce is so good. Ah. And it's so easy. I know I know. this has been like, it's like we, we're getting our steps in, going back and forth from the front to the back to the front to the back. But it is, here, wait, can get in here and smell that. What do you think? Can you smell it? Can you smell, ooh, don't get splatter on the camera. <laughs> can you, ooh. No, it smells great. Doesn't it smell great? All right, yeah. So we're gonna let this just cook for a few minutes. Um, however, just keep tasting it, and when it gets to your liking, it's done. That's marinara, or that's this red sauce that we're making. Maybe it's not officially called marinara, but that's what we're calling it. Fast and fresh marinara. Now I recommend that you sometimes oh. make this double and then put it in jars. You could even freeze it so you have it, and there it is, bubbling. We suggest uh, cooking as much as you like and then let it simmer just for three or four minutes to make sure it's all warm throughout. And I'll bet just, you the longer you cook it, the better it gets. It just will get thicker and thicker. I kind of like it being a little bit a little light, light and I mean, not gazpacho light, but it's um, it's really up to you, up to, you, up to your, your taste. So should we dip something in this? What, do we, what can we dip in that? Our fingers. <gasps> Our fingers. I can't, I can't think of what we have. Ready? Let's go for a dip. Well, it's so hot. That's all right. We'll go fast. Ah. Mmm. Mmm. Really good. That's great. Oh. I think it's, it's the perfect amount of You know, it's better sweet. than any pasta sauce you can buy. Really. It is. It's better. So cheers. Go make your own marinara. And it will make your dinner. It will whatever, you put on, whatever you put it on. Or your lunch or your breakfast. When do you eat marinara? <laughs> all right. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.